If you have not finished your Valentine's Day shopping, and I know you haven't, uh, it is time for you to think outside the box, and I mean think outside the box of chocolates. We've got 12 alternatives for you, including some with moonshine. I'm going to Charles Passy, he's out in Los Angeles. Charles, before I get to the moonshine, tell me about the fretzel. Uh, the fretzel is actually one of the more basic items I would say we found. It's just kind of an over-the-top version of a chocolate-covered pretzel. So you got your pretzel, you got your chocolate on top of that, and then you can throw on top of that chocolate chips, toffee, Reese's Pieces. You know, I, I would say it's about 400 calories a bite. All right. For people who are just waking up now, and some people are, the morning bowl of chocolate? Are you supposed to be eating uh, Cocoa Puffs? What are we talking about? No, 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 no. We're talking about Cream of Wheat's new chocolate variety mm. out just in time for Valentine's Day. And, and I have to say, I approached my uh, and I have to say, it really isn't bad. I mean, uh, I don't know if I wake up on most days saying, boy, I feel like a bowl of uh, chocolate-flavored cream of wheat, but it actually tastes pretty decently. Give, it, give yourself time. You may become addicted. I can feel this. Before we mention a couple of others, very quickly, you know, why, you, you compiled this list, list because why? Are we just, have we gotten way too boring in what we give on Valentine's Day, Charles? Well, I, I, you know, I think actually it's two reasons. One is you still see all the traditional heart-shaped boxes, um, which are getting to me really lame. And at the same time, we've had this kind of artisan movement in chocolate over the last decade. And people are just doing incredible things with chocolate um, and combining it with all sorts of flavorings. And so you have some of products that take chocolate to a whole other level and you know and, and I think people also forget that chocolate doesn't necessarily have to be sweet um, I mean chocolate lends itself to a lot of a lot of different flavor platforms and speaking of flavors let's talk about this moonshine now these are the chocolates I'm hoping that you have had shipped from LA right here to the lunch break set for when I get off Charles <laughs> tell, me, <laughs> tell me about those well you know it, it's from a, a, a North Carolina moonshine distill distiller called Troy and Sons and they have used their gourmet or artisan moonshine and, and have taken it to another level and now incorporated it into a line of truffles. Um, it's really got a very nice kick to it. You know, I've, I've been, I've been, I haven't eaten enough of them to tell if the alcohol burns off in the process of making these truffles, but you definitely taste the moonshine. It's really, it's, uh, it's really quite fun. Well, I'm from North Carolina. I can now tell why I gravitated toward that one. It's in my DNA. All right, hot and sultry chocolate. What's that? Um, we found, I think this is single-handedly the best hot chocolate I have ever tasted in my life. It comes from a, a New York chocolatier called Chocolate Moderne, and they call it their Kama Sutra chocolate. It is essentially an Indian-inspired hot chocolate. It's got cardamom and cloves, and uh, you know, as, as, as hot chocolate goes, it's, it's a very sexy drink and really very calming. Um, I mean, this puts you into a kind of transcendental meditation state when you sip it. It is, it is just an amazing hot chocolate. Charles, you're getting the guys in the control room all excited here. All right, we gotta take it down a notch. Before we let you go, cheesy chocolate. We, we found a, a chocolatier out in Oregon that does a blue cheese flavored chocolate. Now, I have gotten mixed reactions when I have given these to people. Uh, my wife and daughter literally spit it out within about two seconds. Um, I had another friend that immediately grabbed a, a second one and said, where can I find these? Uh, it is not for everybody, but you know, what I think about when I think about it is that although the flavor combination seems odd, when you think about a, a, a dark chocolate buttercream filling yeah. and you think about blue cheese, they have both the sort of same texture, that kind of thick rich texture and so I, I say it's a, a textural kinship yeah. but you know if, if the thought of blue cheese flavoring your chocolate makes <laughs> you sick I probably wouldn't go for this yeah. one